What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Solomon's Island. We back, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Solomon's Island. Innovative Marine EXT 150. It's been one year. This is my one year anniversary video, y'all. Yeah. Really, it was last month in April. But, you know, you know how things are. I always say I'm going to stay consistent. Just been busy with life. I'm a homeowner. Uh, you know, so it's just a busy life for me. Um, but I promise you, I will stay more consistent. This is just an update on how everything's doing, all the changes that have been made since February. Um, basically going to talk about how the coral's doing and all the fish. Uh, my tank is broken down into seven parts. You got the front sand bed area. You have the torch rock there on the right with the Ganyapora. <laughs> And then you got the hammer rock on the left. And then you have the right acro arch, the middle acro arch, the left acro arch, and then you have the back area. And we're gonna go over all the areas and all the corals in those areas. Um, overall, everything is doing amazing, y'all. I love this tank. It's one of the best purchases I ever made in my life, y'all. No lie. I really enjoy this hobby, and I'm here to help everybody succeed. That's how I succeeded, by watching everybody else's videos. I'm just basically here to continue carrying the torch and help out as many people that I can. So feel free to drop the comments. I will respond, trust me. Uh, so I will start off in the middle area, the middle sand bed area, where I keep my scullies, zoas, mushrooms, my plate coral, and my OG bounce mushroom. And as you can see guys, I made one of the best purchases that I've ever made when it comes to these corals. If they would get out the way. <laughs> Two double-headed scullies, y'all. Two double-headed scullies. On the left is the bleeding apple. Double-headed scully. On the right is the war paint. Double-headed scully. And I picked those up from a spot out here in California called Harry's Marine Life. It's one of the dopest saltwater uh, warehouses in uh, in California. I haven't been anywhere else to know any other states, but it's one of the best warehouses in California when it comes to fish and coral. You can go online and check them out, Harry's Marine Life. They'll ship it to you. Uh, they have online auctions every day almost. So, yeah, go check out my boy over there at Harry's Marine Life. Um, but, yeah, two double-headed scullies, y'all. What are the odds? My Zoe is doing incredible. They all opened up. The lights are dimming right now. They start dimming at 8.30. Uh, I think it's like 8.45, if I'm not mistaken, out here in Los Angeles. Um, got my wonderful blue and green hammer that I have forever. Over 50 or more heads for sure. Green. Frog spawn. Green. Purple. Frog spawn in the back right there. Super lush blasto. Super fat. 
I just picked up that bubble coil right there. It's already loving life. Can't really see it. There you go. GSP going crazy. Yeah, everything overall is doing amazing, guys. Um, my Lobos. Bauer Banky. Red Ghani. That's about the size of a softball or bigger. Rainbow Ghani doing incredible. My torches, cotton candy torch, holy grail. Dragon soul at the top. In the back is the OG Indo Gold Torch. Super Gold. Had that forever. I had a lot of these curls since 2018, y'all. And they still rocking with me. If you go all the way back. I didn't start recording myself. Uh. until a few years later. But if you go back to my first video, you will see. I love this view. This is from the right side of the tank. Just gives you another view. You can see the back area as well. Just picked up that Bizarro. It's doing incredible. It's already about to start attaching to the rocks. Voodoo Magic right here. Doing great. Orange Passion, Super Hairy, right there in the middle. Trimmed my Green Goblin, right there. Got a lot of pieces of it in my frag tank. I'll show y'all that in a minute. My Bubble Gum Digi, I trimmed it as well. They actually sell fragged because when I caught the uh, black and gold damsels, I had to rip my tank apart. I got rid of all three damsels. There was one becoming dominant and chasing some of the fish away. So I just got rid of them. They didn't really fit in this equation. Um, but I love this dynamic right here. My powder blue, I had to take out the powder blue and put them in my frag tank because the Achilles Tang, uh, I guess, didn't agree with them anymore. So start, they started fighting. I came home one day and seen them chasing them around. So I just took the powder blue out. So the powder blue's in the frag tank for now. Got rid of the Australian Stripey. I seen him eating on my Acantho that I bought. That was the third Acantho that I bought. And I couldn't figure out why I couldn't keep Acanthos, but now I see why. I didn't buy the super expensive Acanthophilias. I paid about 350 or less for the ones that I tried out and they all died, but now I see why. So I had to remove them. If I see any fish go after coral, they got to go. 
I enjoy the fish and coral equally, but I enjoy the coral more. Unless it's like one of my prize fish, like the Achilles tang. But he will never go after coral, so I'll never have to worry about that. But yeah, the Australian stripey is a goner. So, black and gold damsels are gone. And the Australian stripey and my powder blues and my frag tank. Which I'll show y'all in a minute, it went, like I said. Um, but another thing that's changed, I'm no longer using Brightwell Aquatics uh, Reef Coat, Nano Reef Coat A and B. I'm no longer using Nano Reef Coat A and B by Brightwell. I'm using a new two-part. It contains iodine, which is... One of the main reasons that I switched to it. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, my corals are doing amazing with this product. I will reveal y'all the two part that I'm using once I uh, use it for 30 days. I started on April 25th. So, and my corals love it. They responded great. The acros responded great to the change of the new two part. It's like nothing ever happened. Except they thrive more. They're thriving in this two part that I'm using. All the crows are open and happy. I'm going to give you a top down view. And then I'm going to move over to the frag tank. All right, y'all, here's the view from the top. This was basically the inspiration on this build of the aquascape. Just picturing myself in a natural reef habitat on a boat looking down into a small pocket like this with a nice opening for the fish swim to swim and just nice coral all around compacted to make everything look full and filled in. This is what I would picture an amazing reef to look like. It's a mixed reef, guys. Uh, it takes a little time to know how to take care of a mixed reef because you gotta know where to place the coral and uh, what stings what and over time I learned that the hard way so that's why I am where I am today I'm pretty much in uh, I'm pretty much in uh, coast mode right now y'all I'm just coasting I've already been through the ugly phase uh been through most of the downs now we're just all up from here so we coasting right now y'all thank god so um try to zoom in on a few of these acros if i can that's purple planet right there doing incredible That's Jason Fox, Fox Flame. Right there, right behind it. Let's see. You can see it spread it all on the rocks back there. Um, I'm still gonna come back with a species video, y'all. So please bear with me. As a homeowner, life gets super busy. This is pink Cadillac. As you can see, it's super pink with hues of gold and green, blue tips as well. The polyps are blue, I should say. But that's pink Cadillac right there. This Tanzanite Terror got so big that it start 
bleaching out at the bottom. So I turned up the par a little bit. I also changed up the spectrum. I also wanna run that 30 days before I give y'all the secret spectrum that I'm using. Um, I would say this, it's a version of the AB plus spectrum on the Radeons. But as you can see, I have the AI blades, so it has a little twist to it. The crows love it. It's the AI blade grow and glow. Um, but yeah, y'all, the acros are doing incredible. Thank God. Very happy about that. And um, yeah, y'all. I'm going to just try to keep everything going. This is an acro I got a while ago. It's called Pink Goblin. It finally start branching off and turning it into a small colony. It was green at first. Now it has the pink tips. It's amazing. I'm going to come with a species video, I promise you guys. I'm just going over a few that I can remember right now. That's Walt Disney. Super hairy and fluffy. That's the Garf Bonsai. Super healthy. My bubblegum digi has some amazing colors. This can focus. Blue tips, gold. Just looking real nice and fat and healthy, y'all. Uh, my back wall. Got the black widow chalice right there with the red. The red dots on it. Amazing. Rainbow Chalice, super slow grower. But as you can see that rim right there, that gold rim, spreading. It's always the cheaper coral that grow the fastest. <laughs> um, look at this red plate, <laughs> dinner plate, red chalice. Uh, but yeah, guys, everything is doing amazing. All the acros, I'm super happy, y'all. Super happy. Here's Solomon's Island Frag Tank. So every piece that y'all see came from out of the main display, except for this Paletta Jawbreaker Mushroom. Just recently got that. My single head of Scullies that I have forever, I put them in here. And I'll probably let those go since I have those double head of Scullies. I don't need the same ones inside of the tank. I can use this money on these two to get some different colors or another acanthophilia. But that's a rainbow A can in the back. I bought it for like $20. It was on its way out. I put it in here. Now that thing's puffed up and looking great. Um, my pink bower banky. I had to put it in here because my lobo uh, stung it. So I just put it in here. Everything uh, heals up when I put it in here. The lighting is not so intense. I get about 250 par at the top of the acros. As you can see, are doing amazing. The green goblin frags I told y'all about. Bubblegum digi. Um, pearl berry right here. 
Um, let me see. Cali Tort. Little small piece in the back. All under three AI primes. I match the spectrum of my display as much as I can. Pretty much the same spectrum. So it's a little bit bluer with a punch of white. Um, GSP, small little frag that was just floating around my tank. All this hair algae that you see in Aptasia, I promise y'all, stay on this journey. Watch how I handle that. My phosphates and nitrates are really high. But I'm just using Microbacter 7 and feeding less. That's all I'm doing. As y'all can see, I picked up that wiring, made another board. Got the uh, Wi-Fi controller right there to turn things on and off. I didn't want to go Apex on this but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in the future. Might go Apex and try it in on here as well. Mine's well, you know, but for now, everything is controllable. I still use my HANA testers, tried and true. So why not, you know? But um, yeah, y'all, the frag tank's doing incredible. I got a baby purple tank, as you can see. Got a steal, got it for a steal, $100 basically. There's my powder blue back there. Doing amazing, eating, getting back fat. He was getting picked on for a long time, I'm sure, by the Achilles tank. So in here, he gets to relax, get fat. As you can see him nibbling right there we in peace, nobody's bothering them. So the goal for this tank is to basically frag everything that's in the display and have a frag of everything inside of here. That's the goal. Before I get up out of here, I just wanna show you all my parameters on the Apex. Got my ALK at around 750, CAL 443, MAG 1381, my pH 8.5, keep my temps uh, 78, 77. Um, yeah, I do plan on getting that new uh, Trident for nitrates and phosphates. I want this thing to have everything on this tank, so. I definitely plan on getting that. All right, y'all, that's the update. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all stuck around to the end, I really appreciate y'all. Um, once again, this is my one year anniversary video. I 100% plan on taking this more seriously on this YouTube and bringing y'all more content on my tank. Uh, we'll be bringing y'all a species video on my next video. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I don't know how I'm going to configure the videos, but I promise y'all I will bring y'all a species video on every coral and fish that I have in this tank. So, thanks for rocking with me, y'all. Solomon's Island where we reef for everybody as well as myself. Like, share, and subscribe, y'all. Hit that notification bell so y'all can stay notified on when I drop my videos. Thank you again, and I'll catch y'all in the next episode. Peace.